It's another cold day here in Michigan, and Whitney and I needed to get inside and warm up a bit, so we're headed to an amazing tennis center here in Midland, Michigan. Michigan has so many opportunities to do fun sports outside, but sometimes you get a little bit chilly and you wanna come inside and do something active. And there's no better way to be active and stay in shape in the wintertime than with tennis. Oh, where, oh, where are two tennis players? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? They've come into us. the best tennis house. Sounds great. I'm looking for two tennis players. Well, Wannabes, yep. No way, two tennis players? You asked and we came. I dreamt, <laughs> I prayed, and they were here, two athletes. <laughs> we're How here. are you? Hi. Mike Woody. Jenny. Okay. Hi, Whitney. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. From here on out, we just do knuckles. Nice. Like that, oh, a little yeah, like, explode. Like a boom. Explode, like a yeah, boom. that's like that. Like my swing's going to explode? Yeah, and by the way, um, I heard about your athleticisms, and so I thought I'd bring the most state-of-the-art okay. equipment around. Well, you heard that my muscles were just, I'd break a normal. Diet. Yes, yeah, we, there's. So, thank you. Yeah, this I'm is a graphite. Myself. Yes, yeah. no, no breaking of okay. rackets, and I want you to hold these, no throwing them on the ground. Okay. We're going to have a fun time. So, have you played tennis before? A very long time ago, for a okay. very brief period of time, I played for maybe a month. Is that right? <laughs> yes. So I understand you, you guys came from all the way across the world, like the other side of Midland, Michigan, did, to right. come play tennis? Yes, we did. Okay, and have you played? Never. Never? Not a day in my life. Oh, so. no. Well, this is my first time I've ever taught tennis, so we'll do it together. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. well, let's come on over. Come on. Okay. So what other sports have you played? Basketball. Okay. Yeah. That's very similar. Of... We got... Yes. Balls that bounce. Yep. See, I'm more of a soccer girl. Okay, so that's right. I don't do we so do much with feet. my arms, so I just do my feet mainly. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> so feet, I can are, hop around, feet are good. So, what I'm going <laughs> to do is we may play with the big tennis rackets later. But, <laughs> Those uh, are hilarious. Welcome to your tennis racket. This is yours. Nice. Oh, thank you. You can always give it a hug. You know, it's, oh, it's yours. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And uh, here's a tennis ball for you. We All use right. some different awesome. tennis balls. Thank nice. You. Okay. And uh, here's what we do first. Okay. You just do a few ups. <laughs> kind of like your popping popcorn. Look at that. First stage. This is like. We got this. <laughs> that's all right. Sometimes it bounces. Yes, if it rolls around, good. You this got gonna it. It's going to be me the whole time. Let's see. It's all good running job. around. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Good. Stop. Complete. Knuckle. <sighs> good. All right. The art of the fist bump. See, I thought I had it down. It's just kind of one of these, you know? But Woody. He had a special way of doing it. And so you go in, and then you go just like that. And so throughout our whole tennis playing experience, we got to do a lot of when we did something really, really well. Good. Now some downs. <laughs> kind of like dribbling, Whitney. All right. And you <laughs> You got <laughs> I, you That's have no right. idea Jen, how you got this I'm one, right? Focusing. Yep, you're I'm focusing. Like really, good. really focusing here. Can you side shuffle and do it? Oh my gosh! Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not all right, with good. Anyway. How about on one foot with the hand out? Oh. Because I think this is videotaped. Yeah. All right, good. Good <laughs> balance. This. You guys are athletes. Good. All right, this next thing I call it a self rally. You go up, ground, up, ground. Go for it. Okay. Okay, we're close to playing some real live tennis here. Whoa. At the Greater Midland Tennis Center. Nice. I've got two world-class athletes, Jenny and Whitney. Have <laughs> yeah, you Whitney's do. never played tennis. All right, now we got Can you it. tell? All right, we got the big tennis ball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get that ball to land on that ball. We're gonna go ground, up. Uh-huh. Now you go. Yep, oh, now Whitney bad. goes. Yep, we're gonna try to get the land on that ball. It's real easy to do. Oh. That's close, now to you. Good, to me. Close. Ooh, oh. did we hit it? <laughs> I think so. Now oh, we gotta do a better job than that. Go again. Oh. Good. Go. Oh. What about me? Okay. Oh, close <laughs> to you. Good. Go. Oh. Close. Pop it up. Pop it up. It's good. One I feel more. Like we just need to get on the level one of more. the there, ball. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Well, we can't cheat. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh my gosh. Five hundred dollars to the first person oh. who does it. Okay. <laughs> Monetarily motivated. Should we go as a team? Close. Ah! Oh my gosh. This Come on, Whitney. You said this is all This easy. is easy. Here we go. One more. Oh my gosh, so close. Go again. 
<laughs> Jenny. Go ahead. I didn't want to cheat. Throw it on it. Throw it on it. I didn't want to cheat. Oh, yes, yeah. we did it. All right, good job. Does that All deserve right. a knuckles? Yes, that's a knuckles. That's another knuckles. Come on. Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right, let me see that tennis ball. Our instructor, Mike Woody, was amazing. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better instructor on our first day of playing tennis. He was very patient, very encouraging, and he made the game a lot of fun. The next advancement in our tennis journey yes. is we just have to hit it over this three foot net. All right, once you do that, you're a tennis player. Okay. So I just pass it to you. Jenny hits it. This is to Whitney. First time, guess what? You're a tennis player. Yes. Woo! Here we go. Yes. Hey, we I'm don't have a lot of time running. for celebrating. I'm happy there you go. Good. Nice. Good job. And you never have played tennis before. No. How easy is this? It's Good job. easy. Super easy. It's like a human sized ping pong table. Th there you go. Yes. Good. <laughs> I've done ping you, pong. Oh, you guys oh. won your first point against a tennis Woo! professional. Yes. Come on. Jenny, boom. Boom. <laughs> there you go. All right, you ready? Right. Jenny. Yes. Good. Sorry, I got it. Jenny, ready? It. To me. Oh, to boy. Whitney. We are going to go on the road show with a little tennis. We got two balls going at the same time. My two athletes, Jenny and Whitney. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Jenny God. hits. Oh, Woody oh, hits. Unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to High five, high knuckles. five. Or knuckles. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Snail. Oh. All right, good. So one of my ambitions and passions is if I can get adults excited with the game of tennis, yeah. it's healthy, it's fitness, you get to do something pretty cool with a racket, sure. that gets me pumped up. We begin reading about Sarah in the book of Genesis. Now Sarah was Abraham's wife, and God promised Abraham that he would become the father to many nations. But see, Sarah was well past childbearing years, and so this promise was only going to be fulfilled through God. Now this promise, it took a while, and so Sarah began to grow impatient. And because Sarah is seeing the situation through earthly eyes, she makes two mistakes along the way. Now the first is because she doesn't feel like she's going to be part of this promise to Abraham. She decides to give him her maidservant Hagar to become his wife and to bear him children. And so Abraham and Hagar, they become man and wife and she bears him this son. Now everything worked out how Sarah wanted it to, but she grows jealous and decides to send Hagar away. And now that is a whole nother story that you should definitely look into. Now back to Sarah. The second mistake that she makes is that one night she overhears Abraham talking to somebody outside the tent. And what she hears is that she will give birth this time next year. All right, so in hearing this, the first thing she does is laugh because it's so absurd to her. And then God calls her on it and says, why did you laugh? And then she lies. But despite all this, she did give birth to a son the following year named Isaac, just as God had promised. Almost got her. I wanted to. I have got to get one of those. Good. Good. <laughs> help it. Help it. It's hey, international sorry. rules. Yes. Go. Yes. Hit it. Over. Yes. There we go. Nice. I got a sticky racket. Oh. oh. That's Off of. We haven't learned the backhand yet. <laughs> Where'd you pick that one up? It was up? completely just a natural. Just I just natural. must be a natural at this just, whole thing. Just, it just, just came to me. Uh, that's amazing. All right, <laughs> well, now the next shot. This is one of the favorites. All right. Is you get to do the smash. Let's All right? do it. It's like, it's like um, well, you're the soccer player, but yes. it's like a dunk. All right. So you just like get that. your hands up and you just smash it down. So it looks like this. It goes up. How did that feel? Really good. All right, good. Like Here that. we go. One up. This 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 could be uh, dangerous to my life. A little bit. But that's yes, okay. yes. All right. We'll keep the camera so, so we'll try a couple good. here. Oh man. So there you go. A smash. A smash. Nice. I want it to go down for some reason. All right. Just... Nice. Rick. You know what? You got some skills, In just bro. ten minutes, you guys have learned a forehand, a volley, an overhead. 
you are close to being ready for our Dow Corning Tennis Classic. It's Michigan's only professional tennis tournament. Features some of the best women athletes in the world. Wow. wow. Even Maria Sharapova played here. Nice. You guys are getting close. Okay. Be a little bit more We're practice. Almost there. But here's our next one. Let's try. You're going to do a ball on the, a shot on the bounce. Then you come up, you make a volley, and then you finish with a smash. If you make all three of those, you get to go, yes. Okay. Now, we want to practice this because yeah. this is important. I had okay. somebody hurt themselves one time. Mm. They went up this way, oh. knocked themselves out. That would hurt. So we go here. On three, we go, yes. yes. One, two, three. Yes. yes. All right, good. All okay. right, all okay. the way back to that, <clears throat> that line right there. Okay, what was the thing so again? What were the instructions? All right. Okay. We'll Jenny, are you ready? Yeah, but can we go over what we're doing again yes. one more time? On the bounce, hit it. Okay. Come on up to the net. Come on oh, up. Okay. A volley. Yep, and now a smash. Nice. And then you go. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Be a little more dramatic, please. Oh, okay. I think okay, and all right. open all, right, all so, the way in. Right. There. Perfect. Yeah. Draw it all in. The whole body. Yeah, That's the what whole, I was thinking. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Golly, let's see. We've worked on fist bumps. Fist pumps, we got this. I mean, you guys got the whole. Oh, we got it. We really did. All right. We're it. doing good. Whitney, forehand. You come into the net. Now you get a volley. Oh, get up there. Now you get a smash. smash this is your that. favorite. You can just go almost. <laughs> you can. We can get you back up there. Time out. Redo. I won't smash the Commercial net. Commercial break. I won't Here you smash go. The net. You ready? Yes. Okay. Here it is. Go. All right, I knew you yeah! could get one of those. I got one All right, of the three. Here we go. You got it. Okay, forehand, come on up. Oh, Run. my bad. Keep you want to do that again? Yeah. You Let's can say mulligan. 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 That's a do over. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, approach. Put your forehand. Get up there. Get up there, Valley. Get up there. Get up there. And then an overhead Get smash. Girl. Yeah. What? Oh. That's yes. the best there part. There you go. Good. Yeah. All right. I just, All right. Yeah. Ready. A forehand. Good. Come on in, Volley. And then a smash. You're not going to miss this one. Yes. Yeah, way. You can do a double. Yes. Can you do a double? Yes. Oh, no, this way. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> this is why they play tennis. It's all for the, the oh, noise and the fun. Here you go. And up. And it's a good job. <laughs> now, here's, here's what's amazing. You do this for about an hour, mm -hmm. you will have burned close to 500 calories. That's nice. Awesome. It's a pretty awesome I deal. I believe it. And this is the surprise to people. They always go, ah, tennis, it's just for wimps, it's social. But it's a, it's a game that actually, for your fitness and wellness, mm -hmm. you can play the rest of your life. We have three-year-olds on up to 85, <laughs> which awesome. can burn a lot of calories. Yeah. And it feels good. There's totally. A, doesn't it feel good? It because, does. Yeah. yeah. Because, what do you think? Easier than what you thought coming in? Yeah. Yeah. Easier than what I thought. Good. I love it. Yeah. Good. It's yeah. very... And it, Warms you up, you know. Good deal. Really well, let's now let's do these shots, but you guys will play as a doubles team against me. Okay. Nice. All right. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I know we let's can't go. be too friendly. You know? Yeah, know. yeah. Oh, that's right. Got a little bit yeah. of a. That's we're right. a little hesitant here. My name is Danielle, and this is my story. I grew up in a home with a very loving mom, loving dad. But my dad also was a severe alcoholic and drug addict and physically abusive to my mom. There were days where he wouldn't come home, days where you wouldn't know who was gonna come in the door. And we always were on pins and needles, never knowing how to act. I always tried to live a perfect life, to not rock the boat. And there was a lot of struggles with that. I struggled with a dad image very much so, and feeling the love of a dad. Growing up the way that I did, I really struggled with love and affection, and I would look for attention from boys at that time, <laughs> all the time. It didn't matter, I would be dating somebody and someone would just look at me the right way and I'd move on. Um, I lied, I cheated, manipulated, everything, because I was always looking to fill this void and try to get attention and someone who cared for me and cared about me. But in the end, really, I just was still a big hole and void, you know? You're always looking to fill it and nothing ever fills it. I would drink and party and mess around and 
no no dreams, no goals. I didn't care. Really, I, and I would never give everything. I would never put my full self out there. I would always just do enough just to get by and to keep moving and to not stay focused on anything for too long. I just would I would push everything down all the time and just move on to the next thing, next best thing, you know. My life took a turn for the better when I met my husband. I truthfully, I saw him from across the room and I knew that's who I was going to be with. Mind you, we were still lost souls with major issues, but my life started to turn at that point. And a couple years after dating, his mom started taking me to church and we found out we were pregnant with our first son. And my whole life changed from that point of just wanting to be a better person. I'm going to church and getting a relationship with the Lord. And I started going to church really for my son, honestly, wanting him to know enough to make the right choice. And God really did a work in me <laughs> at that point. So today I've been married for 12 years to this amazing man who I fell in love with from across the room. And we have three beautiful children, two boys and a girl. We've added two foster girls to our life. And it's amazing when you see God doing a work in your family in ways where you really just didn't see possible, even with the two foster girls, didn't see it an option really for us until God just opened the door and here they are. In spite of growing up in a very dysfunctional family, God amazingly has just turned everything for the better, where you just give it to Him and you keep your focus on Him and you don't look at your past and live in your past and you look towards Him and you let Him do the healing inside of you. And it's amazing, even when you have struggles, you just keep your focus on Him and He works it all out and He gives you your peace that you need to keep going. He gives you the little nugget that you need to hold on for that day and to keep moving forward where you can look back and say, wow, I see where God was working in all these things and where you don't feel the, the holes and voids that you used to because he's come in and he's healed all of those things. It's Mike Woody here at the Greater Midland Tennis Center versus Two athletes who have traveled across the world of Midland, Michigan to play tennis. Are you ready? Good luck. You know what? I know it feels that way. I need reinforcements. Sorry. Oh Lord. I need okay. I need, I like we need to an get. upgrade on my equipment here. I really am. Now I'm ready. Now oh. it's a fair fight. I like it. This is okay. fair. Okay. I don't usually have to go to the big racket on the first lesson. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Are you ready for the challenge? We're ready. All right. I've never lost with the big racket. Good luck. <laughs> here we go. Oh my land shot. It really does hit. Oh my word. Oh! What? Oh, he Run. runs! <laughs> oh! I missed that on purpose. I wanted oh, to make you guys okay. feel good. Okay. One's zero one. Play into three. Got it, Jen. Good. <laughs> Woody hits it to Whitney, who hits it back. Woody hits it back to. No. Nope. 
You're supposed to go out. All right, we'll, zero to two. Here we go. Got it. Zero to two. Here we go. Woody hits it. Good. Whitney hits it to Jenny, who does it. Oh, man. Ladies, kick my just, butt. I mean, good. I don't know. That was fun. <laughs> nice. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. That was awesome. So, did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Good. Well, here's how I like to always finish up. So, hold on. Okay. Oh, Lord. So, what'd you learn? I learned the volley. Learned the volley. Learned to smash it. Learned to smash. It. Was the that smash fun? Smash it's my favorite. Fa smash smash is, is your favorite. I got Good. very excited um, about the smash it's. No, I learned it. I think sometimes when you, you do see people play tennis on TV, it's kind of like this, like, whoa, that's way too intense, or right. I yeah. couldn't do that. But then you get out here mm -hmm. and you actually play, and then. Well, I feel like every like, every sport kind of has a little bit of a stereotype, you know yeah. what I mean? Like who plays what kind of sport. You have to be a certain type of person to play a certain type of sport. Right. But this is definitely not what I was expecting. It's yeah. very yeah. interactive, so, very. So if ooh. there was actually a, a a neighborhood tennis tournament, you you have the survival skills. <laughs> I call it survival yes, tennis right. to be able to go out and play. You know how to yeah. keep the ball. Yeah going and and really the game of tennis is about keeping the ball going mm -hmm. yeah so we got to finish off with some fun okay. so put your rackets you put your jenny set your racket on that okay. okay all right whitney put your racket on that okay we'll put more on there just because that adds a lot of fun and on three we're gonna say tennis is awesome okay and we'll lift our arms up and the balls will go flying, flying. Okay. do not clunk your head yes, yes. with the racket you might go this way go you're that. gonna go okay. that all right yeah. all right uh -oh. on three what are we gonna say tennis, tennis is, awesome. is awesome is that what i said oh I yeah was, tennis was cool tennis, no, is, tennis awesome. is awesome i think awesome is definitely all right. All right. you ready mm -hmm. yep one two three tennis, tennis is, is awesome, awesome. Wow! Yay. That was intense. That was, that was intense. Fun time? Yes. Yeah. Blast. Thank you Thank so much. You. You're welcome. Yeah. Good. Great. Are you sweating? Because I'm sweating. I am very yeah. hot. I know. Okay. We actually have shorts in our pants and I'm like, why didn't we wear shorts? Because exactly. I am burning up. Yeah. yeah. So do you, give, do you give lessons? I do. Here? Yeah. I do. Awesome. And um, yeah, my role is I run the tennis center, but I also give tennis lessons and I coach college level players. My, yeah. Both my kids play tennis and they play college tennis. But for me, the most exciting thing is just like you said, the stereotype of, right. uh, you know, tennis is difficult, it's mm -hmm. tough, mm -hmm. or maybe you had an experience before and you go, God, wasn't that fun? Right. My, my thing, what I always like is the, the first indicator I see is when I see a smile yeah. Yeah. and the giggles and the laugh, right. that's the biggest joy for me. Aww. So I have a, that's awesome. I have a neat yeah. job. Yeah, that's so, great. Well, long, thank you yeah, for thank letting you. me share it. And how long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing this for about 30 years. Wow. So, yeah, I'm really 85 years old, but tennis has really, <laughs> Kept me looking like about a 50 year old. Youthful. So, yeah, youthful, <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah, so anyway, that's well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate it. Oh, we can do a group. All right. Two, three. <laughs> thank you. Yes. After playing tennis, all I could think about doing was signing up to play some more. I had so much fun that I think I'm going to start taking lessons now. Tennis loved it. Woody loved him. Would I do it again? You betcha. So what can we learn from Sarah's life? We learn that God is on time with everything, in His plans, in His promises, in His calling on our lives. He knew the exact right time for Sarah to give birth to Isaac. And in her old age, it only showed more of who God was. Sarah tried to speed up the process a little bit, and in doing so, she caused a lot of problems, not only for her and her own family, but even in the Middle East today. Patience is one of the most difficult things to learn and to really come to terms with because it's not easy. Even when God is part of the equation, it doesn't make it any easier for us. But no matter what, God is always faithful with His timing in our lives. So if we can just get that, if we can remain steadfast in His promises for us and an understanding that whenever those promises happen, it's going to be the right time and it's going to be better than we could ever have imagined. 
I love a good meal, and I think that's why God blessed me with a sister-in-law from the South, because she's an amazing cook. Pulled pork, baked beans, potato salad, bread pudding, all the fixings. Oh my word, it's all delicious. I cannot begin to tell you how good that food was. And after prayer, we gobbled it up. That beautiful blonde joining us for dinner, that's my mama. We finished the meal with a big bowl of banana pudding and lots of laughter. I love my family.